flexing on the beat. So I haven't filmed since November, November, December, January, February, March, five months. I haven't filmed for five months and I'm feeling really, really ashamed of myself, so I'm ready to get back into it. So today is all about Photoshop. I'm going to be taking you through how I create an illustration for an existing sketch. This isn't a tutorial on how to make an illustration from scratch, but if you're like me and you like to get things done quickly, this will save you time. So the first thing to do is to import the sketch into Photoshop, usually by dragging the image into the icon or on the Photoshop icon. When the image is imported, it should appear like a locked background layer, which basically means the image is flat. Then double tap on the background to create a new layer to edit on. If you want to make subsequent layers after this, you can just click on the new layer button down here. So click on the original layer as we're going to work on that layer, and then click on the quick selection tool to highlight the areas of the sketch that we want to manipulate. To select, click on the areas that you want to remove, holding down the Alt key if you want to deselect. There are more precise ways of doing this, but that's the video for another day. When you have the selected areas you want to remove, then hit delete. I usually try to remove the background paper so that I can replace it with a white background at the end. So as we're doing this a quick way, you're going to need the eraser tool next and meeting the edges of your sketch. Step two is to select the areas of the sketch using the quick selection tool again and adding colour. I don't know what I was thinking when I decided to sketch this medieval gown, but here's one I did earlier. And I'm going to be taking the colour from this. When you've decided on the colour, we will be using the basic brush tool to add it. The brush tool is the most basic tool in Photoshop, but I've used it to create some really complicated sketches. The trick is, adjust the opacity and flow, which essentially is the intensity of the colour and the brush strokes. If you have the time, I'm sure you can create a masterpiece using this technique. Right now I'm just selecting areas I want to shade differently. Before adding colour, make sure you select a new layer to protect the original. As you can see, I did not do that, but do as I say and not as I do. Do flexing on the beat. When you have reached a desired shade, you can start to increase the intensity of the colour and fill in the desired areas as you would with a paintbrush. This is where the opacity and flow really come in handy. You will need to increase or reduce the size of the brush depending on the areas you're focusing on. When you're happy with the base, you can start to fill in the details. Again, the only tools you're going to need are the brush tool, the opacity and the flow. When I'm done, I start to play around with different colours and brush strokes to give a 3D effect to the illustration. So to finish, if you want to go the extra mile, you can add skin using the same selection process as before. And that's pretty much it. This is the version I did before and you can tell I spent a bit more time on it to get the shadows and the highlights, but this was all done using the same process. So that's one of my favourite <laughs> Shut up, I don't need you in the background giggling. Cackling even. <laughs> Okay, so that's one of my favourite ways of illustrating. Um, I like it because I like to draw freehand and then um, add colour, it's super quick for me and it's really functional. But um, let me know what ways you like to draw, if you do like to draw, if you like to illustrate. And if you have any other suggestions of any videos that you'd like to see, please.